Hello, I'm Barry Dean and this is your Friday Football Special. So, Reading and QPR relegated each other last weekend in a game that was so spineless even Nick Clegg was impressed. Aston Villa hammered Sunderland 6-1 earlier this week. Villa's insane results this season have been inversely proportional to the quality of manager Paul Lambert's interviews. Next season, Paul, the secret to success could be to pretend you're as mad as a Geordie in a stable. Liverpool proved they can cope without Luis Suarez by scoring six at St James's Park last weekend. Good practice for next season then. Meanwhile, Alan Pardew has no defence for his team, which is probably why they conceded so many. And Jose Mourinho this week gave his biggest hint that he'll leave Real Madrid at the end of the season, stating that he will go where he's loved. So that leaves either Chelsea or, um... No, that really does just leave Chelsea. Stay with us for a song about Barcelona, a smooth and sophisticated Cantona sketch, and a state-of-the-art analysis too. How to be a modern footballer with James Alexander-Gordon. Time's caught cheating too. Testicles remaining Uh. nil. It is my opinion that... If Gareth Bale continues to dive, he will soon turn into a submarine. Thank you. Hi, I'm James Alexander Gordon. Your ability to concentrate, nil. My voice, nine. Because sometimes all you need in life is some James Alexander Gordon. Time now for our regular Footballers Tweets feature. Today it's Fiorentina new boy Giuseppe Rossi who has tweeted, Frankfurt Airport sucks. So, Malcolm, Giuseppe seems to be mightily unimpressed with the German aviation system. I'm fair play to him for telling it straight. Everyone raves about Frankfurt as an international hub, but I just don't see it. Do you think perhaps there could be a bit of resentment there because Eintracht Frankfurt didn't want to sign him? Maybe, but the duty-free shop doesn't sell Boddingtons, and half the signs are in German, so I think his point stands. Of course, with all the European games these days, players' travel standards will be pretty high. Yeah, he probably spends half his life on a plane. When we played a game in France, seven of us travelled in the Gaffer's Mini Metro with half the defence on the roof rack. Then we stayed with our goalkeeper's pen pal. So if it's not Frankfurt, what is your favourite airport? Doncaster International. The pub's got exotic dancers on a Thursday. Malcolm, thank you. So, my wee beauties, head to facebook.com forward slash the football special for FFS insights and exclusive dressing room access. Comedian Reginald D. Hunter performed a controversial routine at the PFA Player Awards. The American had been told swearing or any racist references were to be avoided, as players hear enough of that kind of thing on match day. Tomorrow, Hull and Watford will both be scrapping for an automatic parachute payment in two seasons' time. Oh, the glory. So, which plucky provincial side do we want to see promoted? The one owned by the Egyptian multimillionaire or the one owned by the Italian multimillionaire? Hmm. PSG have been linked with Arsene Wenger. Maybe he could reverse what he did at Arsenal by bringing the best of young English talent to the French league, like John Joe Shelby, Danny Rose and Carl Jenkinson. Oh, God, English football is f***. And QPR play Arsenal on Saturday evening. Arsenal fans would love Arsene Wenger to spend like QPR have, which is why football has lost its mind. That said, I'm off to watch the snooker. If you want to get in touch, drop us a line at ffs at zoobox.tv or leave a comment on YouTube. I'm pretty excited now to introduce a new segment of the show featuring our brand new state-of-the-art touchscreen match analysis table. Okay, now, how do you work this? Oh, here we go. You should have bought this down the pub. Barclays Premier League. Manchester City spent £150 million. Everton spent two. It turns out Barcelona are human after all. After crashing out of the Champions League, here's Jim Daly with a song to remind us what the Catalonian team can do when they're on top form. 
They pass, then pass, then pass, then pass to Messi and score a goal. They pass, then pass, then pass, then pass to Messi and score a goal. They pass, then pass, then pass, then pass to Messi and score a goal. That's the Barcelona way. They pass, then pass, then pass, then pass to Villa and score a goal. They pass, then pass, then pass, then pass to Xavi and score a goal. They pass, then pass, then pass, then pass to Iniesta and score a goal. They pass, then pass, then pass, then pass to Pedro. Goal kick. That was your Friday football special. We'll see you the same time, same place next week. Back of the net.